Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Hello, and today is a replay of my E25. This replay, I make an amazing comeback with just me and a couple of artilleries versus some really nasty tanks that can really end me. So I decided to go over here, not towards the cap. I'm pretty much the only one who goes over here. The only help I get is some artillery support. So I go up here to see if I can spot anybody. And wait. And wait. No one seems to be coming down here. This area. Wait up here for another second. Speed that up. So I had to come over here. That's why I spot him. He hasn't spotted me yet, so I'm good. I put one shot to him. Artillery gets him again. I decided I better get moving. Going down the hill. Going down a little too fast because I break my track right here somehow. Wait for that. No big deal. Meanwhile, the VK. 36 gets killed by our artillery, which is good. So I keep moving up the hill. Doesn't seem to be too many people down here. So far, the, the cap isn't looking too good. There's a big mass of tanks just right over there. I get spotted by him. This isn't too good. Comes over, starts shooting at him. He hits me, that hurts. I use an amazing reload at E25 to just keep putting into him. And I finish him off. So I get moving, I go looking for artillery. Help to take out them. See if there's anyone down here. They don't seem to be over here. So I keep moving. I go over here. And I see artillery. He shot me, he misses. And I just kill him. So far, this isn't looking too good for our team. It's me, there's the T25 AT. Who isn't, he's gotten two kills, but he's just sitting there at base. Just, I don't know what he's doing. An artillery on our team. And they have a uh, SU 15 2, which can really be a problem. Two heavies, a tank destroyer, and two artillery. I'll go up here. I spot one of them. I start giving him stuff. He's dead. Keep moving. Can't get a shot of him. And right now it's just me and our, my artillery. Go down here. Push on to him. And I see that KB-85, and I don't want to get hit by him. It can be game over if he has the, one, one of the top guns. Or near, or it could be really devastating. So I don't want to get hit by anybody. So I keep moving, I use the speed. Go to kill that Hellcat, and he's dead by the time I'm looking over there. I keep moving. I come over here and I shoot him, I get spotted, and I look over, I reset the 85, and I get the hell out of there. So 
the SC-150 tier can very much end my game. I move in. At first, I'm going for the the VK 36. He needs to die. And then I decide I might as well just stay at cap. And get these guys. I spot all three of them in cap. So shoot him. They both miss. And I finish SU when you pick you off. And our artillery finishes the VK-36 off. We are both having pretty good games here. Peek over again. Just enough so I can spot them. And I decide I better reposition. So I get moving. And go. Good shot there by the M41 HMC. Going now, it's just the KV 85 left. Come over here. I changed my mind. I, go, I was going over here. I decided. Nah, I'm not gonna go get down there, it's too close. It'll be too easy for him to hit me. So I move over. Keep going. Got plenty of time left. One shot to him, reset him, and I finish him off. Hope you enjoyed the replay in my E25. It's a really, really, really good tier 7 premium special German tank destroyer. So until next time, this is and make sure to come back as I'm going to be posting more World of Tanks, World of Warships and War Thunder soon.